Australia's, Australia's new Prime Minister has made his diplomatic debut in Japan today. He is attending the Quad Summit and meeting with the leaders from the US, Japan, and uh, India. Of course, they are going to talk about some security issues um, in the Indo-Pacific region. However, China might be the focus as well. Speaking of China, we have heard mixed headlines. Uh, Biden has mentioned again that he is considering to remove the tariffs on China's products. And the China State Council meeting yesterday has just announced more detailed measures to support a slowing economy, including tax rebate, reducing the auto purchase tax, and expanding the credit support to small business. Uh, however, these positive news are overshadowed by the COVID situations in China, and perhaps that's the reason why JP Morgan and UBS has just downgraded China's GDP forecast for this year. And that really hurt market sentiment uh, because we have seen the Asian equity markets are broadly lower today. US futures are also trading lower at the moment, and the focus might be on the Snapchat. The company has cut its revenue forecast and the share price has plunged more than 30% in after hours. And that really puts some other social media companies like Facebook and Twitter under pressure in the session ahead. In terms of the FX market, the US dollar index is stabilized above 102 level. Euro is easing a bit in the session, however, it still holds a near the one month high. And thanks to the US dollar weakness and the treasury yield cooling down, gold is performing well in the past few sessions. It is now trading around 8055 with an eye on 8065 level. In today's European and the US session, we are going to see a bunch of PMI data coming from the EU nation from the UK and the US. And also we are going to hear about uh, Christine Lagarde, the ECB president, give a speech in the Davos Forum today.